Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zade here with another episode of Zade's Experience. Today, I'm going to be talking about my travel to Osaka in Japan. It's been a long time coming. I've been uh, hard at work trying to get this done. But more than that, uh, I've been trying to just kind of recollect my thoughts on the whole trip since I didn't record anything of what I was thinking as I was seeing all these things. So this is what this video is going to be. It's going to be my recollection of thoughts as I was going through all these places and hopefully you enjoy it. So the first place that we're going to be visiting is Toyo Izakaya or Izakaya Toyo. The line was huge. There was a bunch of people there and although it didn't look like it would take that long. It took anywhere from an hour to two hours and we were one of the first customers at the Izakaya. <laughs> so after waiting for 45 minutes at Toyo, we finally got a table and got to order. When I first got to Toyo Isekaya, I thought that, well, I was hoping that Toyo would be just as he was on his Netflix special. He seemed like a very humble person. If you haven't gone and watched that special, definitely go do so. The Netflix special is called Street Foods. And the one that we're talking about is obviously Toyo Isekaya or Isekaya Toyo. And even though I was hoping for that, I don't think I was quite ready to to see it work in action or to see him be that way. How are you? Good. Good? Yeah. Good. 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 And yes, as expected from all the hype, the food was nothing short of amazing. It was simple and very, very complex in its own way. Toyo and his helpers were preparing everything. Toyo was preparing some of the dishes, his helpers were preparing other dishes. But everybody that was trying these dishes was, was very, very pleased and satisfied. You could just tell. And yes, I did get to meet Toyo. He's a very, very simple man, but he's super, super happy. I got to find this out because when you get to be around them, not like from a point and shoot angle, when you get to physically be like right beside them and you can see that he exudes this level of happiness, this level of energy that you just can't fake. It was super awesome to see Toyo take his time with all his clients. He was literally taking the time to meet all of them, even though he had this line of people waiting to be served to sit down so they can buy his food. But he was taking the proper amount of time with all these people to take pictures, to talk to them. You know, some of these people have traveled halfway around the world. I know um, this was a very, this was a place that I had to go and see for myself and to be able to meet Toyo and for him to take the time to actually talk to me and all that, you know, it really says a lot about him. And I think the people that were waiting in line really didn't mind because they could see what he was doing. They, they could understand that these people had made a journey to come to his spot and he was very grateful about it. And then as a plus, the guy is super, super funny. <laughs> it was a very humbling experience to meet, see, and be around a human being that could have potentially been such a bitter person after all the things that happened to him in his life. And again, if you haven't watched the Netflix special, I highly encourage you to do so. But he chose to take a completely different route and he is such a, such a happy human being. And it just reminds me of how many times I've bitched about all, of, all the little things. And it just puts me in a different mindset where in comparison to some of these people, I really have no excuse. It is super, super motivating. It is super inspiring. And now that I've gone, 
to Osaka and experienced this place, people have asked me, did Toyo live up to the hype? Is Toyo Isekaya really that good? Having time to sit down and actually digest what Isekaya Toyo meant to me, I can honestly say that the food is only a component of the reason why people keep on coming back. Watching him cook, play, and meet other people is really an experience on itself. I don't think it's just cooking to him anymore. It's something much, much bigger. It's so much more. He really does love the process. And at that point, I think it becomes something much, much more than just food. <laughs> This man pours his heart, his soul, his playfulness into the food, and it shows. And that is what I think Izakaya Toyo is. We just arrived at a coffee shop because we wanted to get some free Wi-Fi. We're, we're trying to freeload off of any place that we can find because using the data here can get pretty expensive. And so we decided to arrive at a coffee shop and it was the perfect excuse since I hadn't arrived at any coffee shop here. And I've heard that the coffee was pretty awesome here in Japan. And so when I landed here in this specific, so when I landed here in this specific coffee shop, I saw that it had some amazing reviews and decided to come in. And sure enough, I wasn't disappointed. What was amazing was one, the smell. Once I came in, it had an amazing smell. Like you could tell that they were roasting their coffees. And yes, it's called Lilo Coffee Roasters. And they roast all their stuff here. They roast all their beans. So that's why you get the kick once you come in. And I met the owner and she's super, super nice. And we started talking. We had a little bit of a conversation. And she had some really good English, which is super, super rare, especially for here for Japan. Even though it might sound weird that people don't speak as much English as maybe we think they do. And uh, she was telling me that sometimes, a lot of times, kids don't get raised with English until like 13, 14 and by that time um, they've they already got too much to worry about so they don't pick it up as much or they don't get it doesn't get reinforced as much into them. Yeah pretty cool conversation the coffee was bomb I was only able to try a cup which is more than what I need around this time at night. I mean, I haven't had coffee in two days, but I mean, I, I haven't been wanting coffee. I just wanted to try some really, really good coffee before I left, and I think this was the perfect place and the perfect excuse, time, everything, and heck, totally worth it, guys. I think it's cool that this sheet actually explains everything. Like, this actually tells you, like, what 50 grams, 30 grams this, and like what the different flavors and notes that it has. It's super cool and it has a bunch in the back as well. Lilo Coffee Roasters here in Japan, Oksaka. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Sage Experience, guys. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and push that subscribe button and definitely push that like button. And if you wanna get notified every time I come up with a video, go ahead and press that bell. Leave a comment down there, let me know what you think about the video, and I will see you on the next round. Zay, out. Peace.